Ahem, okay. Good evening, everybody. And welcome. How's everyone doing? Welcome to the first podcast stream in a month. That's right, ladies and gents. This past month has been quite tumultuous with all kinds of stuff going on between multiple game releases, between Ask the King, between me getting a toilet installed, uh, and me being uh, not here, being in Seattle last week. Well, downtown Seattle last week, let's put it that way. Uh, We haven't had time for a podcast, but we're back. We're back, and it's good that I gave it some time. Quite honestly, because we've got a ridiculous amount of stuff to talk about tonight. Uh, so I just want to pre- preempt this and warn everyone that this is going to be a podcast that will be 100% loaded with useful discussion and information. There's going to be stuff discussed that maybe you know about, that maybe you don't know about, depending on how much you've been watching my content over the past few weeks since the last time that I did a podcast. There's going to be discussion of news, including gaming news, wrestling news, world events, all kinds of important stuff. And... Uh, you know, all that is going to be talked about tonight on the podcast. So this is definitely not one of those those shows where I'm looking for filler content, and I'm not going to be doing a back-in-the-day segment or anything like that because we've got far too much outside of that to speak of um, that is going to be pretty good, okay? In fact, I am right now... Actually writing notes, taking notes down, because I have so much to talk about, I needed to write it all in a list so I wouldn't forget, and uh, it's pretty wild that, uh, you know, this much is happening. So this should be interesting. Now, uh, undoubtedly, there's going to be stuff left out. Undoubtedly, there's stuff that's happened, or is happening currently, that I'm not going to talk about, and it's either that I'm not interested in it, I don't feel that I have something important or intelligent to say about it, or I don't know about it at all. <laughs> So it could be interesting. Um, but I thank you guys for being here tonight. I'll preempt this by saying right now my review for Evolve just went live on the King of Hate vlogs here on YouTube. Uh, and that you should definitely watch it. If you were on the fence, if you did not know if this game was going to be worth your time, uh, <clears throat> and you didn't, you, either you couldn't judge from my videos, my gameplay videos this week, which is about 10 to 11 hours of gameplay, or... If you just uh, didn't get a chance to watch the videos yet, and you want to know what I feel about the game after playing it for three straight days, uh, the review is live. And I already know it's probably going to be controversial and yada, 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 but you know me. Maximum truth, minimum bullshit. I cut right through the nonsense uh, that all these other uh, reviewers love to, to fucking BS about and pad games, and I'm not going to put up with that bullshit, all right? So... Uh, I gave an honest review, and I think that there's positives and negatives, and you're going to see, okay? But I just want to put that up because, <clears throat> excuse me, because there's really, uh, there's nothing else to do in the game, you know? I played it for three days, and it's not like it's a game that has a definitive end or anything. I've, I've done everything or seen everything there is to do or see in the game, and I felt that I could give a, a, a good review of it. And I know a lot of people have been asking me daily, what do you think, what do you think? Well, now that'll be out. And the good news is, uh, I believe that after today's stream of Evolve, that I have enough footage to do a montage. I'm going to do, it's going to be a shorter montage for sure, but I think it's going to be a good montage where I kind of highlight some of the the best and worst things about the game. And uh, I'm going to try to do that this week, if not this weekend, probably this uh, Sunday night. What I'm thinking is maybe I'll do the weekend preview, and as soon as I'm done with that, I'll work an hour or two and try to get the montage done we'll have to see okay but uh yeah that is coming as i said i will take these new games that i'm playing and i will try to put time into them to make montages when i feel appropriate and i think this is a game that it is appropriate okay <clears throat> so i thank you guys for here for being on stream for the very first podcast in a month uh it's looking like in the next couple of weeks uh i may or may not be doing ongoing podcasts i'll let you guys know Dependent on how much uh, content is going on during those times. Next week, probably yes. Uh, The week after is uncertain, okay? Simply because next week, there's nothing new besides the two 3DS games that actually are coming out tomorrow that I'm going to start playing, which we're going to talk about on the podcast tonight, how I'm going to be tackling those games, okay? And and then 
Uh, there's a, there's a new game on Friday, The Order, but there's nothing that Thursday. I'm thinking maybe this would be a perfect lead-in to The Order. You know what I mean? Uh, and then the week after, supposedly we got Resident Evil Revelations 2 and Dragon Ball Xenoverse, along with The Order, which I probably won't have beaten yet. So, juggling three games, I don't know if the last week of February I'm going to have time to do a podcast, but it looks like probably next week we'll do one, okay? You know, it's fun. Doing a podcast is fun when appropriate. When I have time to do it, it doesn't interfere with other stuff, and there's a lot to talk about. And this week in particular, there's a ton of stuff to talk about, so that should be good. Ah, So we're going to get started shortly. I would assume... That tonight's podcast is going to last anywhere from 90 minutes to two hours long. All dependent on how, how much detail I get into stuff, how worked up I get. Because you know some guys, sometimes I get worked up about a certain subject and ends up me going on a tangent. And quite honestly, I am happy that I took the time to record the review of Evolve before Hate Live. Because I think that if I hadn't, that I probably would have gone off on a crazy tangent about Evolve on Hate Live. That would have taken up a giant chunk and then people would have said, well, if I wanted to hear a review of Evolve, I would have watched it. I don't know why he spent so much time on that. So <clears throat> I'm glad that I did it separate. What I would say is this. Uh, be- just because I did that separately, I hope that you will not uh, you know, let let it get overlooked. Because what I'm afraid is going to happen tonight is, so that's that's uploaded now. You know, Some people will watch it, but some people are going to be live on the stream watching Hate Live tonight. And then when Hate Live goes live, oh, well, do I watch Phil's review or do I watch his podcast? They're both pretty long. Which do I watch? You know, and uh, and then people pick and choose. And I hate. I, I hope that you don't do that. Or if you do, I hope that you will give both, uh, you know, a watch over the course of this weekend that's coming up. Okay. What else? Um, I, really, I don't want to go too much into detail about anything because I am going to talk about a ton of stuff on the podcast. You know. And uh, I know that it's going to be a crazy show, if I, like I said. Um, and uh, wow, tomorrow, starting tomorrow and then for the next week is going to be a pretty unique week for me. A week of all Nintendo 3DS gameplay. Now, how often does that happen? Never. I've never done just Nintendo 3DS gameplay. But we've got two. Two new games this week that I'm very much looking forward to, and I, I, uh, I'm actually pretty excited uh, because I bought this Nintendo 3DS that has capture capabilities last year, and I played a few games. I played uh, Professor Fe- uh, Professor Phoenix, oh. Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright, <clears throat> and uh, I also played Smash, and then later on in the year I played Omega Ruby, uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby. And they did all right. I'm not going to complain. They did all right. They they all had a dedicated viewer base, but it wasn't like, you know, you know, a huge amount of people who were so into me playing that stuff. Uh, I'm hoping that, you know, jumping on with some of this newer stuff this week, it'll catch on a little bit. And I'm sure there's going to be some more 3DS stuff in the future. So we shall see. We shall see how things go. I'm excited. Even if it's a failed experiment. Even if I do this this week and I do terrible at Monster Hunter, right? And I'm, I'm sucking at, at Zelda or, you know, people just don't get turned on by the footage. At least it was something different. And I could say that I made the honest effort to do something different outside of my comfort zone. I'm not just playing the mainstream console games, right? I could easily, oh, but Phil didn't play a Jill run in Resident Evil. And he didn't, do, you know... He didn't do unlock every single monster in Evolve. And he didn't do that, you know. And I can say, yeah, but I'm going to do stuff that I want to do that's fun. Not just to do it because it's the popular console thing. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't want to just do 4,000 runs of the same shit. Phil never did zombies. He didn't do zombies in Call of Duty. No, I didn't because it's not out yet for PS4. And that's what I have it for. But you know what I mean? Uh, I, would ra- I would rather do something original, different, and fun to me. And to me... You know, doing Nintendo 3DS games for the next uh, week are going to be pretty interesting. So we shall see. We shall see. I'm excited for this next week. I'm excited for the rest of the month. There's a ton of new stuff coming out this month. If you guys don't even know, you get the two the two 3DS games, The Order, Resident Evil Revelations 2, and Dragon Ball Xenoverse in the next two weeks. I mean, holy shit. You know what I mean? Like, wow, that's a lot of new fun stuff that's going to be coming out. <clears throat> And I'm excited for it. I hope you're excited for it, too. 
I hope you'll give it a look, even if you're not used to it. Oh, the 3DS? I don't watch one of our show play 3DS. Give it, a, give it a look. If you don't like it, you don't like it. At least give it a, sec, a, a, a first look, though. Give it a chance. I couldn't tell you how many people uh, tell me that they haven't heard of something or they never played something or they had no intention of checking out something. Then they check out one video from it and they're like, holy shit, this is f entertaining. And then they watch the rest of it. I get that all the time. So give it a shot. You don't like it, it's cool. But give it a shot. Okay. All right. Uh, another minute or so, we're going to get started. I see more people are jumping on the stream as I talk. Uh, but, you know, I can't wait all night. We are definitely starting in the next three minutes with the podcast. So don't worry. I'm not going to delay too long, too much longer here. What else does everyone want to talk about tonight? Let's talk about Fifty Shades of Grey again. Because that comes out, uh, it comes out this weekend. I know a lot of people are dying to see it. Some of you are actually in line to see Fifty Shades of Grey, I know. Lines going around the block of movie theaters. Uh, you're on your mobile devices listening to the stream right now because you didn't want to miss Hate Live, of course. I mean, you could not do anything to miss Hate Live. Hate Live is the number one priority in your life, obviously. There's no way you could possibly miss an episode when it's broadcast live. But outside of that, of course, you, you have to be in line for Fifty Shades of Grey. So there you go. Now imagine if you were listening to Hate Live while watching Fifty Shades of Grey. Now that might be dangerous. You know what I mean? That might be that might be like smoking weed while you're drinking absinthe and injecting heroin into your ass. <laughs> it might be too much. <laughs> it might be too much for you. And uh, some the hidden boss says he's in the theater. He's actually sitting in the theater. Waiting for the movie to start, even though it doesn't play for like two days. <laughs> well, good on you. You'll be the first one there. You'll probably be the first one to leave, too, when the movie starts. You realize how bad it is. You get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's Fifty Shades of Grey. No, we're, you know what? <laughs> I'm definitely not going to be talking about Fifty Shades of Grey. I, I should, though. I should have a whole, a whole hour segment where we just talk about it. I talked about it on pre-stream the other day. That was as much as I should ever talk about it. I don't know why I'm even mentioning it now. I actually tweeted about it the other day, and people responded like, what the fuck? Like, why are you talking about this? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. <clears throat> how do we get on this tangent? <laughs> I'm lost now. I don't know how I can get back to find my way back to the podcast here tonight. All right, you know what? I know how we could do it. <laughs> I'll just stop talking. How about that? <laughs> I'll put on my hat because I need my hat tonight. My, my hair is out of control tonight, and I didn't feel like wetting it or putting shit in it. I just want to wear a hat tonight for the podcast. Um, <clears throat> and uh, and we're going to get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being here. I appreciate uh, the fact that you are here for the podcast live. Keep in mind, you can always watch it back on demand on the King of Hate Vlogs as I am going to upload it immediately following this podcast, okay? And uh, that is it. Thanks, everybody. Let's get the show on the road. And remember to eat your DSP cereal. Your DSP cereal must be eaten. Okay, here we go.